Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. We've got another first session with a new dog for you. His name is Bernard, he's about two years old. And just the, the big goal, the big complaint, uh, the, the, the thing we wanna work on is his reactivity to other dogs. Now, as always with the very first sessions, I'm not gonna directly put a dog against other dogs, especially when that is the goal, that is the, the issue we want to resolve. The first session is just about us learning about each other, getting comfortable with each other, developing the beginning of that communication that we will then later use. Now, he was dropped off a couple of days ago, and so just letting him kind of decompress and get used to being here and all of that stuff. I'm really itchy, dude. But also building up a little bit of the food drive. And he's definitely taken a lot more food from hand. And uh, he also needed a lot of help at first, just with leash manners, just walking from point A to point B, which is kind of difficult to properly film for the, the, the small stuff, let alone taking him outside, which we will do and we'll get to later, but we don't need those big distractions right away. So let's just see what, uh, what you got, what we're working with and uh, get to know each other. Bernard, come on. Good boy. Hey, hey, nope. Bernard, here, yes, there we go. Bernard, here, yes. Now they have done a fair amount of training with him before. So the behaviors, the commands, uh -uh. Bernard, here, yes. Those are kind of built in essentially. Like you saw how well he was going to place to begin with and I didn't ask him for it. I just kind of walked up to it. So he knows what these things are, he knows how to do them, but it's about us, context. Here, yes. Place, yes. Sit, no. Sit, yes. Over here, good. Down, yes. Sit, yes. Sit. Yes. Down. Yes. Place. Uh -uh. Good. Because you can see in between some of the repetitions, he'll come to me, he'll get his treat, and then he'll look away. He'll walk elsewhere. He wants to explore and investigate things. And then some of the other repetitions, I can string together a lot because he'll take the treat, but he's sticking to me, say, uh, showing attention and waiting for the next command. And I can string together a lot of them. And I want that kind of attention, that kind of attraction to be better as his default, his norm. Because if that's the case, then I have a lot more sway essentially over him when it comes to dealing with other dogs. But until I have more of that attention, and again, it's hard to film it in terms of going from the crates to the door to the backyard for a potty break, but that attention wasn't there from day one or on day one. This is the beginning of day three here uh, in the morning and he's starting to show more of that attention. Not quite looking for eye contact. Um, that's, what, what I, blah, that's not what I'm looking for and it's definitely not what he's offering just yet, but he's showing more attention to me and interest in the food. A hey, good. Yes. Bernard, here. Yes. Place. Yes. Place. Good. I'm deliberately pausing because one smaller bed, but right by the cat tree, and I know he's gonna wanna use his nose. As long as he's standing on the place, I don't mind so much. Yes. Place. Yes. Nope, nope, come on. Place. Good, he was smelling the ground right by the door. Like it's tile. I can almost excuse it on the carpet here, but smelling the ground, the tile, the door itself compared to a just strong storage container essentially of scent with the cat tree, there, there are some things I'm definitely gonna forgive and other things like, dude, come on, that's the, literally nothing. Let's get up, let's go, pay attention. Now, I said, let's get up, let's go. I'm gonna forgive him on that one. Place. Good. I'll make the gesture so I won't say the words. Yes. 
But again, we're figuring each other out. I'm expecting a lot of these mistakes. So I'm not gonna be too concerned about them. Here, no, here, yes. Down, no, A, A, down. No, down, yes. Down, nope, down, good, good. Yes. Now the way he has been walking back and forth, place as far as on the potty breaks that again, we don't film the way he's getting a little prancy and excited. Yes. Sit. Yes. Like that. Down. Uh, uh, no, come here. Down. Yes. Down. Yes. Place. Literally almost throwing himself into those downs and just putting that extra energy and excitement into everything that he does. I think that's the big culprit behind the reactivity of other dogs. It's just crazy, pure excitement, not real aggression. He's not angry. He's not out to kill. And now I haven't seen it, so I can't really say absolutely that this is what's happening, but looking at his behavior here, I see how he just gets so overstimulated at the sight of another dog. Now he's in a boarding room with other dogs, each in their own crates. He's not interacting with them just yet. I want to build up our relationship before that happens, but he doesn't really care about those other dogs in the room so far. And we currently have one dog that uh, likes to bark a lot in there. Um, he happens to be deaf and blind. So it's just something that he does kind of, it's a little bit of a quirk. There's much more limited in how we can work on that, but he's not here for training. But either way, that barking dog in that room hasn't really faced him at all. As far as I can tell, when he's in the crate, he's just lying down and very chill. Maybe he gets up to drink some water, but that's about it. I'm like, just like he lays down right away on place, he goes into the crate and goes into that down right away as well and just sticks to it. After I close the crate, he might get up and get some water right away, but his default is just lying down in, in those situations, which again, attributed to the training that he's had in the past, but uh, getting back to the overexcitement, no concern in the room. It's not, again, aggression or a lot of reactivity. It could just be more of the association. I'm free. I can play with them or who knows what. So we'll see. We'll work on it. Bernard here. Yes. Down. Nope. Down. Yes. And as much as he's been trained here. Yes. And accurate as he could be in a lot of his obedience with his owners down. Yes. Context is everything. I am new down. Yes. You are literally seeing in this session the first time I have asked any real obedience of him. Place. Yes. I've asked for some manners on leash to walk from point A to point B. Eight, eight. No. Here. Yes. And therefore he's learned some leash pressure. Eight. And a couple of corrections, nothing major. Here. Yes, that was poor. You can do better. Uh, 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 no, Bernard. No, I didn't pick up all the bones. Hey, hey, no. Let's see. Hey, out. No. Hey, no. You drop it. I can't see you're in the way. Nope. Drop it. Is that your word? No. A place. Yes. Come on. Wood. Uh, uh, uh. Sit. Nope. Sit. Nope. 
Sit. Good. Yes. Uh, uh, down. Yes. Come on, go on. All right. Hey, Bernard. Nope. Angle so I can maybe see it. Out. Good. Uh, uh, here. Yes. I'm not taking it. I was holding it and he let it go. Down. Yes. But, get to know each other. Sit. Yes. Sit. Yes. More interest in the chew bone than the food? Place. Hey, hey, good. Means we can probably use play and tug more as a reward a little bit later. We'll see. Yes. Ah, ah, ah. Good. But having created value in that box now where the bones are kept. Here. No. Here. Come on, Kokon. You dropped that one. There you go. Let's pick it up. I have created a bit of a distraction for myself, which I actually want. If I can keep the attention to me, and then... Bernard, hey, come here. I give him something that he can chew on and enjoy. I just add more value to myself, and that's part of what is gonna help when dealing with the reactivity. So. Pretty simple, easy going first session. Just again, getting to know each other, not really working and advancing on anything, just figuring stuff out and uh, what our starting point is and how we're gonna proceed from here. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. If you have any questions about anything, drop them in the comments below and be sure to subscribe so you can keep up with us and everything that we've got going on. I'll see you guys next time.